everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. I'm here with Owen today, and he's making a special guest appearance um, because, strangely, we've actually stumbled on something. Uh, I thought it was really cool. It wasn't necessarily something that I was interested in, but I tagged Owen on Facebook, and he picked it up, and we're gonna check it out today. And they are basing stickers for Infinity uh, by Warprint, the ones that make them, and then they're distributed by Frickiad? Frickid? I think it's Freaked. Fricked? Freaked? I think it's Freaked. Fricked. I don't know F -R -I -K -E -A -D. how to pronounce it. F-R-I-K-E-A-D. I'm not sure how to pronounce it either, but we're gonna do our best. Um, and they're really neat. They're basically adhesive base toppers for your regular bases. So instead of having like a resin base or a textured base or whatever, with Infinity, a lot of times you want a kind of just road surface or something glossy or something flat and kind of like uncomplicated. Or for um, any model. Or for any model, really, I guess, yeah. But these are specifically made for Infinity, it says. Um, and these are a quick and easy way to get a really cool effect. So Owen had uh, he airbrushed a bunch of bases and then expanded his army a whole bunch and run out of airbrushed bases. And so when I saw these, I tagged him in and he grabbed a whole bunch of them. So this is actually Owen's doing. Um, he was super happy with them and we were figuring out a way to batch make a whole bunch of them and make them really, really durable and finished. So this is kind of half of Witches and Wonders and half a hobby thing. So I hope you guys enjoy this. These are Infinity Stickers by Freak. We're gonna say, just we're, uh, we're gonna pick a thing. Freaked. It's gonna be yeah. freaked. Freaked. Yeah. All the links and stuff will be in the description below if you guys check them out for yourself. Um, and we'll walk you through making one, putting it down, and putting a model on it. One caveat though is that the ones that we are using is only one of the three that are available. That's right, yeah. um, in the links below, you'll see where the other ones are in the shop. So this is the 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 desert. Kind of scorched desert looking ones, and then there's an ice one as well as a like industrial road kind of one. Yeah, we'll do. We'll get some pictures off the website, and I'll superimpose them when you're saying that, so you guys can see it. There so. You go. That's right, postscript editing. You guys actually get to check out pictures of them too. I'll have them float by us he's as he's talking about them. Says, I am going to do it. I will. I'm, I'm technically adept. I'm not, I will probably, I'm going to forget to do that. Yeah. So if I forget to do that, you can yell at me in the comments. Anyway, um, let's take a look right now at the bases as they've been ripped off the models, a finished base, and we'll walk you through how we're going to actually put them on the, the models themselves. So first things first, these are the stickers themselves. And I'm gonna have Owen just chime in when he has something to say about them. Um, they're just on a adhesive pad. Uh, they are already cut, so they have been die cut, so you just pull them off basically. If you pop off a base, you can see they have the split. They'll just come right off. Uh, and they are base arc marked as well. Now they've given you these little side pieces that you can put on to mark where your facing is on your base. And we've actually finished one already. So here's a finished one attached to a base. Um, and there's the little side bits lined up so you can see where your side arcs are. Uh, and this is pretty much ready to attach a model to. Now we're gonna do that in a second, uh, but I'll just go through and show you the sizes first. You get on each sheet, and I think Owen, you said they're four bucks shipped? Something like that. Yeah. US, yeah, four bucks US shipped, something like that. Pretty close to that. I think that. it was like $3 American, which right. made it $4. Canadian, Canadian. yeah, gotcha. Uh, so four bucks, so three bucks. I think it was 20 US. bucks for all five of these. 20 bucks for all five of them, gotcha, okay. So Canadian. prices prices may vary, caveats may vary, but it basically to do his whole army cost him 20 bucks in all these things. And you get one 55 mil, because it's 55 mil for infinity, one 40 mil, and then 10 25 mils on the, 12. Uh, is it 12, two, four, yeah, six, eight? Oh, it is 12, yeah. There the numbers go. are at the corner there, too. Oh yeah, that's convenient. Look at that, you can read and I can't. So it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I have more get, time to look at it. That's true, you have. And there's 14 stickers overall, so you get 14 sets of these little line of sight markers as well. So everything you need um, to do a grand total of 14 models. Um, it's 12, 25 mil, 140, and 155. So five packs you of these. You can basically base a, 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 a good 300 point army yeah. just out of one of these yeah. stickers. I was going to say, you got 60 little guys, so it's more than... Then you, had, this you is needed like about 1,500 half. points of Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's, it's a lot true. of guys. It is a lot of guys. But you'll still have lots left over for your, your reinforcements as they come in, too. Yeah. Um, so there's a finished one. There's the pads. Let's show you guys how we went and made one of these, and then we'll show you how we're going to attach the models. Okay, so um, the basic thing that we wanted to do, because these are just stickers, right? They're adhesive, but we don't know how adhesive they are, is you want to make sure that these don't peel up. Because there's going to be a lip, basically a bit around the edge here, where they could come off if you have wear on them. And you're going to pick these guys up by the base. Um, so that could cause problems. So this is, uh, I'm going to use the word a prophylactic measure uh, to basically make sure that these never come off. Now I've done this before on objectives and the whole point is that you're creating a cement down surface and I'm going to use a product called Mod Podge. A lot of the guys will use these for making their own custom tokens in the past before people started using bubble stickers. Uh, and what it is, is it's kind of a hobby cement. When it dries, it dries clear. This satin one is, of course, non-reflective. And we're not gonna put it on top of the sticker, but we're gonna put a base down on the base to stick the sticker to. And this should give us a nice sort of, oh, so I use one that's already started, a nice sort of um, concrete underneath 
to make sure that this never comes up. And I'm gonna do it just like I do a thing. I'm gonna put it against my thumb here to make sure that it's flush. Whoops, it's stuck to my finger a little bit. And then we just want the glue peeking out around the edge. I wanna squish it down a little bit. Because what that means is it's actually going over the edge here and there won't be a lip that it can get picked up from. Just working around until I can see it all the way on the edge. And that's on. And then the next bit is the side things. So I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna lay down a layer of Mod Podge real fast, just where they are. And then attach it to there. I gotta make sure that the little arrows are both facing the same direction. And these ones I will actually put a layer on top of. And that's gonna mean because these are so exposed and they're on a piece that's gonna get handled quite a bit, that's gonna give us a nice cover, cementing it down overall. Whoops, and keeping it where it's supposed to be. Just put a little bit too much on there, just gonna move it around a little bit like I'm using a decal. Yeah, decal, I say decal, I'm from Canada. Not decal. <laughs> All right, and I'll do the other one. So um, what I'll do once the other one's done is I'm gonna throw this on, we actually have like a little radiator, a little heater behind us, and that'll speed up the drying process so we can show you guys how to attach a model to these. But there it is, a little bit of Mod Podge um, and some quick drying. You could use a hairdryer too to dry it if you wanted to, uh, and that'll get these basically cemented down so it's not gonna come off again. All right, so here's our dried base. Um, and when you see infinity bases, a lot of them have this right here. This is originally designed to be cut out so that you could put a, a model's um, peg like through there and actually hold them down. But it's actually a little bit thicker than the rest of the base surface. So when I go through, I have to see where the, the, the pin's gonna be in the foot of the model. But if I can, I wanna put my hole for the miniature through here, because that's gonna be the best contact point. Now, I'm not gonna go up through here, because what that's gonna do is it's gonna push up the sticker and cause it to mound. I wanna go down. So I wanna make sure I know where it is and then just drill on my, my pin vise. If you guys don't own one of these and you play Infinity, uh, if you wanna use resin bases, I highly recommend you go buy one. Oops, there we go, so we're all the way through. And we'll just put it back and forth until we've got a nice pilot. That looks good. And that's the least we can do to damage the actual surface. Now we've already got this fell right here. He's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna glue the pin into his foot. And Owen asked me a minute ago, how do you know if you've drilled in far enough into the foot? Well, there's two ways. One, the drill, the drill bit could come at the top of the foot. Then you know you've gone too far. So I went yeah, in the heel. <laughs> that's right. The other one is you put him on the pin and he'll stand up. If he'll stand up on the pin, you're good. So we're gonna super glue this guy down, give him a minute to dry, um, and then we're gonna pin him to the base. All right, so we've given the pin a chance to dry into his foot because you don't want two weak connections. We put a little bit of glue on the paper clip here and away we go. It's gonna go in the hole like so. He's facing the right direction. And because it's nice and dry in the foot already, he's already pretty much set. And there he is, pinned to the base. Now, if you want, the pin has a little give to it so you can just squish him back a little bit to get him where you want him. But he is facing the right direction. I can still probably pivot him a little bit, just have him facing right dead center in where the arc markings are. But he's good to go. So that Crusader Brethren with HMG is done. And now Owen's got this many other bases. We're gonna take them out and prime them and then put the uh, stickers on all of them. Uh, and we'll show you what they look like when we're done. All right, here we are all done. Uh, we managed to get most of the army rebased in about two hours. So we kind of production lined these. I sat down and mod podged bases while Owen was drilling all the feet. You only and, them all. And, and pop them all off the bases too, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and here is the finished result. So I gotta say, um, the first thing that popped out of Owen's mouth was look at how much better they look when they're all uniform. And I completely agree. When guys are on the same kinds of bases, uh, it, it just works. Does I mean look at them? They uh, well you can you can leave a comment in what you think of it because once again they are they are stickers like what you're looking at right now is just a like a run of the mill sticker um, that's just been cut to the right size. It's got a nice little graphic on it. This is what you can do with it. So yeah. really really works. Like pops really good. And of course these are just the desert ones. There are also streets, so there's like street city streets. One. There's a there's a um, grid like high tech kind of tech one. Cool. Uh, I think there's a snow one, but I don't remember that. But I know at least there's a street one and then they're like a hexagonal kind of pattern one. Awesome. And yeah, we'll link to all that so you guys can check out the different kinds. Um, but the uh, the net result is super impressive. Everybody pops off the base, they're nicely detailed. The arcs are all just pre-marked for you, so you don't have to worry about your base arcs at all. They're just there in little red lines. Um, and we didn't actually put the side tabs on all these. Owen's just gonna extend the line down with some paint because that's a lot of work to the side tabs. You can use them if you want, but it's just as easily kind of drawn down with a line of paint. Um, and then you're not worried about them falling off either later on. Yeah. So there it is. This is what, you're like 1,500 points of 
It was a lot. It's a pretty <laughs> nice. good, like, because you have to remember, everyone everyone who has a sword is at least, like, 40 to 50 points. That's right. Yeah. And we got we got, just, we got some characters, too. We got Constantinos and Defersen over here. That's 100 points. Does 100 points. Joni's right here. 50. Uh, we got some Hospitallers. 40s. And, yeah, we got a whole bunch. It was, what, you have, like, 11? No, there's 10, 10, 10, 10 orders. And then two snipers and a Spitfire. Yeah, a couple of Knights back here. Some Santiago's and a big brick. Uh, and of course, the Crusader Seraph Brethren and Crusader and Brethren. Seraph, yeah. yeah. There it is. So, uh, nice looking, um, I think, upgrade definitely to your bases. And of course, now your bases are all the same, too, which I think adds a lot to the army. So, there we go. There's our look at the bases uh, from Freaked uh, and printed by Warprint. All right, so there we go. That was basically two hours for, I'm eyeballing it. What would we do? 35 models? 37 like models? 30. That's, that's a lot of basing for that amount of time. What's cool about these two, you could actually fit them into the tops of lipped, like War Machine style bases. Like they don't have to be for Infinity. These ones were just designed by the guy who likes Infinity. So they're kind of made with that in mind, but you can use for anything, 40K. There's a lot of these guys that run 40K bases. Yeah. So I mean, there's a little bit of an overhang. And yeah. the two ways you could go about it is one, if you really felt like it, you could trim them. Yeah. Um, nice sharp knife, like really sharp knife. The other one would be, of course, that you just do what we did in Mod, Mod Podge. Podge. Yeah, because yeah. the Mod Podge underneath is going to, that, that ring where you can see it peek out is going to solidify. And it's like concrete when it's done. It's going to keep those tops on really, really well. Um, it, of course, there's a little bit of damage on the toes and stuff when we take them off. Owen's going to go back and just paint them, uh, like touch them up, cover up Mod any black. chips and stuff. Yeah, pretty much. And you can throw, you can probably, we're, we're going to test it. We're going to throw a coat of Delcoat on them too and see if that protects them a little bit more as well on top of it. But definitely a really cool result. I've never seen anything like this before so as soon as Owen said he was picking some up I was like we have to do a bunch of orders on these because they're so cool um, and I hope if you guys are into some quick cheap affordable basing it's kind of like the gaming mats of basing like yeah. that's what it looks like to me you know what I mean it's the same kind of thing that you get from gaming mats it's quick it's easy it's done everything's uniform looks um, nice looks nice easy to do yeah and really affordable so uh, check them out if you want to try this out uh, we'll give you the links just check them in below uh, thanks again for watching Bridge of Wonders guys um, if you do have a great product from a small company that you want us to check out you can have them email me at girlmakeministrygames at gmail.com or Facebook message me through my Facebook page it's facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets we'll see you for more Bridges of Wonders until then I'm Ash this is Owen have a good game